hey guys what's good what's popping it's your boy victor and welcome back to my youtube channel so i'll be telling you four ways to build your faith according to a particular scripture so there were records of people who had great faith and we are unpacking the story of a particular person so if you're interested kindly click the subscribe button and turn on my post notification so you can be notified anytime i post a new video you don't want to miss what i have going on here you do not want to miss so all that being said let's get right into the video <laughs> Taking from the book of Matthew 15, 21 to 25, I think I don't see my handwriting. So I'd like you to read for yourself. So the first step here is knowing who God is. The woman in this particular story recognized that Jesus was the son of David, which many Jewish people did not even recognize. She was a Gentile. She knew he was the son of God. She knew what he was capable of doing. Second step is stating your problem. She told Jesus that her son has a demon in her, that he should help her. He should help her. She came to Jesus with her problem. She knew who he was and then came to him with her problem. What she wanted him to do for her. What she's believing in him to do for her. And the third step here is persistence and waiting on the Lord. After she told Jesus her plight, Jesus did not answer her. And from what we read, she was following Jesus, telling him to heal her daughter. And then his disciples had to tell him to let this woman go, which means like he should like solve her problems. And, what. and Jesus replied, oh, I have been sent only to the lordships of Israel. But despite God not responding to her, she kept on following Jesus. She kept on following Jesus, telling him, telling him her plight. He was waiting because for you to not be answered, won't you go? But this woman waited. She said, today is today. My daughter must have her healing so she waited on the lord with so much persistence then the first step here is humility humility in the sense that she fell down on her knees and begged jesus to help her she showed how helpless she was without him she showed how much she needed jesus that she can even when jesus said what he has is for the people of israel what did she say she said even dogs eat from it's the leftovers that fall from the master's table. She agreed to take the crumbs. She agreed to take the leftovers. She, she didn't want like the whole thing. What she wanted was just the leftover. This is the finest form of humility. And because of Jesus, Jesus acknowledged her great faith. And he said immediately her daughter was healed. So in this scripture, Jesus tried to show us that salvation is not only for the Jews, but also for the Gentiles. Because in the conversation they had, he said, It isn't right to take the children's bread and show it to the to the dogs. And she replied, Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So what he was trying to say was he he was he came for God's people. And because she knew who Jesus was, she now replied, Even, even the dogs take the leftovers from the master's table so not only did jesus come to save god's chosen people he came to save the gentiles too because it was only the israelites god said okay these are my people even though god created everybody he chose a particular um country is it country a particular group of people let's just say it and for him so jesus did not come to save only the jews but also the gentile so I hope, I hope this was helpful and impactful and i hope this was a blessing always remember that jesus loves you Everybody.